Welcome to our 100th episode of Ask a Dev. I'm Dan Merle, and today's question comes from Stephanie. Stephanie asks, how can I control all my connected home devices from one app? That's a great question, Stephanie, and one that only recently got an answer. Connected home devices are not new, and they've been around for decades, but only in the last few years could we use our smartphones to control them. And even then, every manufacturer had their own app to control its device. However, in the last year, both major platforms announced plans to address this problem and create a standard for connected home devices. Apple brought HomeKit to iOS 8 with updates for iOS 9, while Google announced Brillo and Wii for the Android platform. Now, I'm going to talk about HomeKit, but the concept should apply to Weave as well. So the first question when connecting your smart home devices is, how do you sync them to your Wi-Fi? Manufacturers have generally solved this problem using kind of a clunky process, making their devices a Wi-Fi access point that you temporarily access to teach the device how to connect to your home router. For HomeKit, Apple solves this problem using Wireless Accessory Configuration, or WAC. This is a protocol built into the MFI chip required for a device to be HomeKit compatible and is fully supported by iOS. To use it, you start in EA Wi-Fi Unconfigured Accessory Browser. You select the device you want to configure from the array iOS gives you, and then you just call Configure Accessory. iOS does the rest. It even provides the user interface to put the device on your home Wi-Fi. Now, once you're on your Wi-Fi, the MFI chip identifies the device as HomeKit compatible and allows you to control it through everything from the manufacturer's own app to a third-party app like the one we just finished building at Mutual Mobile called Beam. In HomeKit, devices are added to virtual rooms and virtual homes and are themselves just a collection of services, which are in turn a collection of characteristics. Manufacturers can use standard service types like light or thermostat or create a custom service just for their device like Coffee Pot. Under those services are standard characteristics like brightness and temperature or custom characteristics like brewing size. Most characteristic values are readable and writable, and your app can be notified if they change, such as when someone turns the dial on a thermostat. The blueprint for this database of information exists in iCloud, so all your signed-in devices can control it. And you also get total control over who gets access. With these features, HomeKit lets you easily make a great app that can control your entire universe of connected homes using either a data-heavy basic UI like Apple's reference app HM Catalog, or a more user experience-driven approach like Bing. That's all we have time for this week. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.